Okay, guys, so this man is constantly being messed with by law enforcement. I will put the link in the description to this guy's channel. Tell him Omaha sent him. Now, you know, when you're dealing with law enforcement, it is your right to film them, especially if you're being pulled over. That's the thing. They always mess with certain people because they think they can get away with it. The more this man stands up for his rights, the, the, the less likely the police will mess with him. Now, these cops ain't got nothing better to do but to mess with a man who's minding his own business, going about his daily life. This is why it's important that you film law enforcement in the United States because you never know what they're going to say. You never know what they're going to do. And at the end of the day, it is your right to film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. I repeat, always film the police. You can't trust law enforcement. Sorry to say it, but at the end of the day, these cops do not care. Always film the police. I repeat, always film the police. Uh, remember, this channel is currently going through some technical issues, so um, hopefully you can like this video, subscribe, and share. And let's get this and, and tell him Omaha sent you. I'm out, guys. Peace out, and bye-bye uh, now. Hey, Rob, I'll be right now, as you can see. Right, deal. See what they got to say. And I'm pulled over. Pulled over. Again. Here we go. Morning, I'm Deputy Council Sheriff's Office. Have your driver's license for being sheriff. May I ask why I'm being pulled over? Yeah, driver's license. We'll get to that. Sir, may I ask why I'm being pulled over? I, I have everything right here. Man. May I ask why I'm being pulled over? ID yourself, and we will get to that. May I ask why I'm being pulled over, sir? Yes, I've told you three times now. Once I have your ID, we will get to the reason for But I, I need to know why I'm being pulled over, sir. You've asked the question, I've answered it three times. No, that's not answering. That's avoiding the uh, answer no, because I, I have the right to know why I'm being pulled over because I traffic, I follow yeah. every law. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, sir. The driver's license is right here. My insurance Send is right the driver's here. driver's license to me, so I have ID'd you, and then I will talk about I just want to know why I'm being pulled over. That's it. Okay. Can, can we have when a white shirt? Be... Can we have a white shirt? Huh? Can we have a white shirt? A white shirt? A, a one above you? Yes. Would you like a seat? You're a higher rep. Yes, a white shirt. Can we have one? Yeah. Yeah, we can. can we have a higher? Can you please call him? Yeah, after please I call, ID'd you, I'll can call you the Please call him. And I'm going to tell you the person. He time. won't give me my yeah. white shirt. He won't give you me the been, supervisor. You stopped on a traffic stop. You were required to ID yourself. Yes, and I will give you my ID now, once I know why I'm being... Uh, you ID yourself. But the ID you have in your hand... Can I have a white? Can can I have can I have a white shirt, sir? Yes, you can have a supervisor. Can you please call your supervisor? I asked for a supervisor. He won't call a supervisor. He won't call a supervisor. I need a supervisor because I'm asking for why I'm being uh pulled over. He won't give me a reason why. I just want a white shirt. Can I have? Yes, I do, and I want to know why I'm being pulled over because I followed every traffic law and I seen you sitting there. I've been recording since I've been driving since I've been walking out the building. I see. I already know it because you guys always mess with me. Can I have a white shirt, please? Can I have a white shirt, please? Brake lights work. Brake lights work. Can you call a white shirt, please? Now I've told you why you. Can you call a white shirt, please? I would like a white shirt from this point. I would like a white shirt at this point. Please have a white shirt. I would. I would like a supervisor. Please, the proper term is supervisor to you. Can you please call a supervisor? Thank you, and please, thank you. I keep my hands on the steering wheel because I'm not, you know, I am very nervous in this situation. 
I believe you are the last person that pulled me over the last time over here for no reason. I have not done anything wrong. And I, will, you know, I hope right. it's a supervisor, please. Tell I don't. Why you been stopped? I've got a supervisor on the way. Do you have a driver's license? At this insurance? at this point, I will not answer any more questions and wait on your supervisor. At this point, my hands are on the steering wheel. I'll keep it there. My engine's off. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna just wait on your supervisor. May I have your may I, one more question? May I have your name and badge number? Name and badge number, please. Two two. Counts. I've already introduced myself when I walked up here. All right. Thank you for all your information, sir. Now, at this point, I'll uh, use my Fifth Amendment. You're not under arrest, nor are you being charged with anything other than... I'm, be I'm being detained for a, a, false char a false traffic violation for no reason. You said my lights don't work. You can step back there. I can press my brakes. You can see my lights. Okay. Still have to present your driver's license. I'm, I'm waiting on your white shirt, sir. At this point, I'm not saying any more words. All right. So, regardless of whether he gets here or not, you've been stopped. I've actually given you a reason. I've given you everything you requested. You have to ID yourself. Failure to ID yourself is obstruction. Everything's right here. So... I need you to present me your driver's license. I would just like to wait on the white shirt, please. Okay, go ahead and step out of the car. I would like to wait on the white shirt, please. Hopefully you do not do it in force and do any negative things to me because I asked for proper acknowledgement. You just call for backup. Can we wait on backup? I don't want anything to go escalate, please. I don't want to escalate. I don't want to be in any type of situation. It's a crazy climate. I, 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 I'm going to show you right here at this point. That's me. You move your fingers. That's, so that's me. Birth, please. That's me. Great. Right there. That's me. Right there. You see who I am. I have my legal documentation. I showed it to you. Now we're going to wait on your supervisor. Once again, everything right here. Can you hold it up here one more time? You got to know. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm going the proper route. I've been pulled over for no reason. I called it from the jump. I, I started from jump. And I'm about to hit my brakes just to show that my brakes work right now. It's showing on his dash cam. I'm going flash to my, flash my brakes to show that I'm flashing my brakes now show that they're working and they're on his dash cam so when i request it it's on his camera that my lights work <clears throat> he went back to his vehicle also I am right off of Cincinnati and Marshall, Martin Luther King and Marshall Street. That's where I'm being pulled over for the second time. He's walking back to the vehicle.
is the 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 white shirt or the official sergeant has made it. He's made it here. He's talking to him now. He's right there leaning on the vehicle, talking to him. And as soon as he get here, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to pass him my license and tell that I have everything recorded and I can play back everything that he just pulled me over for no reason because I called it as soon as I pulled up and I knew it was going to happen when I walked out my father's building. Every time they always sitting there, every time they try to say I'm doing something wrong. First, it was brake lights. Now it's my windshield. It's, it's all type of ridiculous things. Hey, sir. How, How you doing? doing? You're a sergeant? Yep. How you doing? Here you go. I'm going to give you everything because um, he pulled me over for no reason. Have it on camera. I called it on camera as soon as I walked out my father's building. Every time it was, there's an officer sitting at, my, at Pioneer Plaza, because I help my dad. He's handicapped. I got to come back and forth and help him. Every time there's an officer up there, they always target me when I'm leaving. This right. this is the second time, okay? I asked why I'm being pulled over. I follow every traffic law. He said, my, then he said, my brake lights and then the windshield, okay? Partial incident, okay. basketball, you know, it happens. Yeah, yeah but the windshield is a PC for pulling you over. I can, I can understand that. Yeah. But, you know, came with a tough guy attitude, all, put me in a, hey, I don't want no trouble. I just want a white shirt or a sergeant, if okay. what you call it, okay? Yeah. I just flashed my lights you to show that. You must be from up north. Huh? You must be from up north. I'm from here. Oh, really? I'm from here. <laughs> I, 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 I say, just white shirts are normally like Indianapolis. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, it's just a term. <laughs> I, 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 that's just no, what that's I say, cool. you know. That's it. That's it. Like I said, you got my information. My name is Ricky Beeks. For this whole year, I have been just dragged through the mud, okay? Right. I'm going through enough trouble as it is for no reason over my own weapon. You know, so okay. I ain't got time for, you know, yeah. more issues. I already um, have thousand dollar tickets. Well, just, and... just reference. Um, not and we may not just I don't know if you're just talking about us or whether it's TPD or just any local. No, it's it's both. It's right, both. Okay. I'm sorry. It's um, both. It's, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yes. Um, but your windshield may get you pulled over quite often. I never got pulled. Over. I never. I nobody. Every, all the times I've been right. pulled over this whole year. They never, never said an issue, nothing. Yeah. They just always um, try to hit me for my brake lights. It, um, well, I'm just going to let you know. I'm just um, saying. I yeah, understand. Cool. Yeah. Um, the critical, what they consider critical area is anywhere that the windshield wipers touch. And so if you have a crack, like if you had a crack, we'll say up here. Yeah. Well, that, pretty much it's not, I get you, not obscuring right. your so vision where, where if the windshield the, wiper cleans. I get you. So, yeah, understandable. So, and like just, I said, just, I can get yeah. that fixed. That's yeah, nothing, you know, like that's no problem. But I'm just tired of being harassed, man. I'm At this point, I'm being harassed. I got so much video, so much evidence. I record everything now. Yeah. I'm mean, just done with it. You well, know? Give me just a moment. Okay. It is your right to film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. I repeat, always film the police. This guy is clearly being messed with for no reason. He's minding his own business, driving down the road, just living his daily life. And ain't got nothing better to do but to make up things on this man. They're making up stuff, and it's not right. So always film the police. I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy this video as I add my additional commentary. Alright guys, I'm out guys. Peace out and bye-bye uh, now. Once again. Recording everything, boy. For real.
And Sean don't even realize that was me. And here they come. Mr. Beeks, do you feel comfortable enough to step out here so I can talk to you? No, sir, I don't. Okay. No, sir, I don't. Well, it's kind of hard for me to tell you what I'm talking about while you're in there. Uh, it, if your brake lights do work, which I maintain that at least this passenger side does not. They work. I'm Those guaranteed. Those dark covers on there? It's just the dark covers. That's all it is. Okay, well, you need to change them. That's, that's actually a violation of Title 47 as well, having covers over your lights. It's not, co it's not literally a cover. It's... Okay is tent is meant for the lights it's light tent you can buy it at a store it's meant for it and if, if i'm and if i'm up here in which i came up here i introduced myself to you when i first came up here and you have your driver's license and insurance in your hand is it not just easier when i ask for it is it not just it? easier at telling me what the reason for pulling me over is instead of wasting time and trying to find a reason but I told you what the reason was. No, you didn't. I you have first a when I to pull you over, I don't manufacture this stuff. We can go man. back on video when I when you first walked up, I asked why am I being pulled over? You seen I have my ID and my insurance ready to give it to you. Yeah, I just want to know. I point even point repeated point it to you. So I'm not I'm not trying to overly match you. I just want to go home. Okay. Now when I when I had it in my hand and I repeatedly said, I just want to know why I'm being pulled over and I will give it to you. No problem. No problem. Okay? Why am I being pulled over? You just kept, like, like you trying to think of a reason. Okay? I'm sorry, but that's my perspective of it. Okay. That's mine. Okay? We're going to have different perspectives. Okay? Well, here's, but here's, far from here, if, if the tenant, cool. if it's too dark, I get, I'll make sure I get it right. If, if it's my window, I'll make sure I get it right. If you're going to write me a ticket, go ahead, because by the time I go to court, it'll be fixed. All right? And that's all I can say. I'm just, at this point, tired of being harassed sergeant i thank you you know you're a cool guy what what's your name again Young 20, we're 10 -4. well what's your name again i'm streeter streeter you're a cool guy i i, li I like how you came up with yeah you're just a b-bike you uh i like how you came up you know you like calm professional i love it like it's cool you made me feel safe but i don't i kind of don't like how you did it sir all right and just from this point if, we, all, we all have our different ways i mean there's a it, lot of times as you're giving the the license, most will start telling you why we're pulling you over. It's kind of I, a simultaneous type thing, kind of like, you know, explaining. I, I get but, you. But, and, and your tail lights, even tag lights, all that stuff has to be able to be seen from at least 50 feet minimum. Okay. And with the dark tent over it, especially due to the daytime like this, you may not see it. You, there's, it's, it's hard to see or you can't see it. Okay, 50 well, feet away. I, I can get it. I can get it. So. But like I said, you know, once again, if y'all go, if, if it's that much of an issue, I get it fixed. There's no problem. Well, I mean, but it's, it's issue, just the added... reason he pulled you over. But it's not a big issue. Okay, and I get that. But okay. still, it is an issue when I act. You know, request the thing like the yeah, with the law that yeah. I would the law that I learned was you're entitled to what you did, right? Like you got to know what you did, right? Well, and he will tell you. Okay, but he or any other deputy will tell you there. But I will tell you, there is nothing that states that you, I have to tell you before you give me your license. Well, I guess we read two different books, okay, you but know. We, but yeah, we can agree to ever, disagree. We're yeah. not ever going to come up and ask for it and then sit there and turn around and walk away. Yeah, I. I, I but mean, you know, I I just <laughs> need to know why. Like, I just don't get why know. why you're wanna. You'll you know why you want to just if point the finger? That's all I'm told, saying. Then I would definitely ask for a supervisor. Okay, exactly. Ten percent, whether it's us, TPD, another state, if they come up here and ask for it, and you give it to them, and they walk off, oh, I'd definitely be asking for a supervisor. Yeah, yeah, okay? I can get it. But like I said, I've been in too much situations this year. I'm gonna just take it the safer route, how I feel is safe for me, okay. and I'm gonna just leave it at that. Streeter, thank you. I really appreciate it, man. All right, and if you're going to give me anything, I'll take it. I'll handle my business, and hopefully we won't see each other again. You know, that's all I want to say. Okay? I would let you know that the actuality of that is if you're on a traffic stop and you are refusing to ID yourself, you have opened yourself up to be arrested for obstruction. I can understand. you. That's your opinion versus mine. If you're going to arrest me, arrest me. That's all I can say. You know, that's like we got, like I told you, we got two different opinions. 
So well, you can take your opinion. I'm going to take mine. I'm going to voice mine. You're going to voice yours. And wish that would make us men. You feel me? All right. All right. Okay. Mr. Beeks, you're free to go. All right. I'll be in free. Thank you.